Good morning and welcome. I'm Connie Nieto, one of your Miami trainers. The class today is Matrix X 101, uh, getting started or uh, getting ready for success. I also wanted to let you know that we have a resource hub for our Matrix X, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into the chat in case you're interested later going back and seeing the tips and tricks, information, and more that's available to you through Matrix. From our main page, to get through Matrix, you're going to come into the Miami Gateway. Click into the Miami Gateway. You will put in your license and password, and that will bring you to the Gateway dashboard. The icon for Matrix is available here. It's the one that just says CoreLogic Matrix here. And you would click into that, and that will bring you to Matrix. While here in Matrix, we're going to go ahead and cover a couple of things. This is the home page. You can make it yours by moving the widgets around, organizing them as you would like. You can reduce the size by clicking on the arrow or expand it by clicking on, on the arrow facing down. You can close out an area. And if you do that, an additional area will appear where the little widget will be selected here and you can just bring and drag it. On this homepage, we also have external links, including resources like NAR, FR, the association here, as well as the tax services for our coverage area. Our MLS covers Miami-Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, and St. Lucie counties, and you have connections here to the tax services, to the schools, to the education area, and more. You also have links to IMAP, home visit, form simplicity, and additional items that may interest you. We do offer a working with buyers and sellers course where we cover most of these links that are also found within a listing. Next up, we're gonna to come to the very top here and we have an area like My Matrix where you will have your dashboard, which is this main page, a summary of what's been done, the ability to add contacts, see your CMAs and more. As you follow through, through the five MLS classes, we will cover almost all the areas here. Next, you have a search area where we have a description of the different property types and searches. And if you join us for a 401 and 501 class, we even review the MLS page and the rules and regulations. So be sure to take time and complete the sessions, take the classes as many times as you like, and know that they are readily available to you every month. And we have recordings available on Miami Realtors Live, as well as on youtube.com forward slash Miami Trainers. Those information sheets that I send through the chat have links and information to those. Please note that you can create a search for RE1, RE2, which is single family condo, for residential income, residential land, residential rental, commercial, business opportunity, and a cross property search that is a search of all of the above. You have a quick search, a search directly to Rental Beast for rentals that we cover in our rental class, open house searches, public record searches, other MLS since agent, agent search, and office info. We also have stats that we do cover in our 301 class where you can create or have preset statistics for you to pull. We have a link to Realist and IMAP that are two tax services. We have a link page here, similar to what we have on that homepage or dashboard, where you have links to the NAR, FR, and the county services. We also come to the very top and you have a finance area, which includes a finance calculator, a seller's estimated net proceeds, and a buyer's closing cost sheet with some information. We also have an add edit area that we cover in Matrix 401. We also have a video explaining how to add your photo to the roster, which means coming in to add your license number here. My sample license is my name. You click to edit it and you can come and add your photo to this area, which becomes very important because as a listing agent, if you were to create open houses, the photo associated to this here, to the managed photos, will be the one to show, right, associated to the open house. What you would do here is click to browse and add your primary shot. Now through the chat, I wanna ask you, how many of you are new members, returning members, or just back to learn a little more? Please let me know via the chat. I wanna hear from you. Excellent, welcome then. I hope all of you have taken the new member orientation and are getting ready to go through this whole series. 
Great. Returning, welcome back, Eddie. And for Roman, Jeffrey, Marlene, Michael, Courtney, Karen, Julian, Amon, uh, Tracy, Tiara, I hope I said that right. Wait, welcome. Jerome, Gersey, Nina, welcome, Wilson. All righty, so to continue, it's important to have this and you'll note more and more to add your photo and your headshot because this will then be a part of what you use when you do open houses. And this is shared to our open house search site. Next up on the very top, we have market reports. And these are on-demand reports that are also covered in MLS 401. Now I'm moving things around to make sure that I continue to see the chat. Hi, Hirolmina, how are you? And I want to come and bring you to the area where it says hello and your name. And we are going to click into there. Hi, Kara. We're going to click into there and we're going to start by coming to help first. If I click to help, you're going to have an area here where you can search into the help. You can find the data input forms. And in our matrix 401 class, we go over these input forms and show you how to leverage them to search even better. We have a matrix training guide, what's new in matrix, support videos, matrix support. And if you click to support, we have an 800 number here available Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. The number is 888-825-5472. Next up, we have an area for search information where you can click and see different search questions we have speed bar selection and information on the speed bar. This is the speed bar. And this is the shorthand used to search on the speed bar. We have emailing details, CMA information, which we cover in MLS 301, Matrix 301. We have reverse prospecting details. All of us will want to be able to run reverse prospecting when we have our own listings. It will tell us who has shared our listing, the agents that have shared. So we can invite them to the open houses, let them know what's included, ask them if they'd like additional details and do some business to business marketing. We also have Matrix Mobile. And I did wanna take a minute and share with you that if you're an avid cell phone user, anybody who's a great cell phone user, you can actually go to the Matrix Mobile site by selecting SEF, .mlsmatrix.com. I'm going to copy this and paste it into the chat, okay, so that you can have it. But this is the view that you could see from the phone. So you can use any browser, Google, Bing, uh, Safari, and go ahead and put sef.mlsmatrix.com and log in as you would to the website and get to Matrix. After that, we have here open houses and how to search and find them, realist, a link, and then we have the area maps. Since our coverage area is Miami-Dade Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, and San Lucie, and if you notice, it's SEF, which is Southeast Florida. The map areas that we cover have the areas here. If you've ever worked with a seasoned realtor or heard them speak, they may talk about areas and you may wonder, what does that mean? Well, it is a division of the counties, right? Now, tell me, where are you located? Miami-Dade, Broward, Martin, Palm Beach, San Lucie? Let us know via the chat. Also, you could come into here and click, and I have Broward here. Oh, it says the URL is old. Let me click back. Let me come back into Matrix. I see lots of Broward, Miami-Dade. Any po Palm Beach, Miramar, I guess, is in Broward. And let me come back into the help. Click on the area maps, click Fort Lauderdale. And here is the Fort Lauderdale map. And it is a breakdown of the county. Excellent. If you come back in, we can do Miami-Dade. And here is the Miami-Dade map. Coming back into Matrix, right? These area maps are also available for sale at our office locations. 
Call first, make sure they have them, and then you can get one, but you do have access to them for free here. We also have a city list and municipality code list for those that have provided. And here I have a Palm Beach one, which explains the municipality codes. That was our help area. Now we're gonna come back to the very top and we're going to spend some time in the settings area. This class is Matrix 101, set up for success. Anna Maria, this part is really just to show you what you can come back and view. And again, it was from the hello in the help. So what I do is give you a little preview. You can always come back and click through. Now for the settings area, we'll go slowly because the whole idea is for you to leave today with all of your information. I hope that helps. So next up is here on the very top settings, right? And we are going to do two areas here. We are going to do my information and all the tabs within it and portal notifications to set you up for success. So the first thing will be to click on my information and click through. The first tab on the information does influence much of the information available later. So take your time here and fill it out. Note that I have my name and my nickname you know, here. You can also come and put your nickname here, but there is an area where you have your full name. I highly suggest that you come in, and if you would like to change what shows there, because you've earned designations or certifications, you could click into here. Marlene, the help area is by clicking here, on the very top where it says hello in your name and the word help. And now where we are is in settings. Any other questions? Is that okay, Marlene? Did you see the help? All right, just to make sure I can go on because this part of the settings, I really want you to do well. It does influence your header and footer for reports. It is the information that will show in your roster. It is a good idea to come into here once in a while and make sure everything is up to date. Now, the information that shows up here does directly come from the information provided to membership. So if you want to make a change to last and make sure everyone is notified with the association, you can write into membership at Miami re.com. So if you need to update your email, et cetera, even though you could come into here, click and update it, that doesn't update all of the information at the association. The best thing to do here is to write to membership at miamire.com, putting your name, your email address, any changes you're going to be making, your license number, and request from them so they can update. Next, it also has an area here for title of employment. Zachary, for changes to your office, you have to contact um, your office or membership and explain your situation. So you can either call or email. There is no option to edit the office information. Your office must make that change. Now, title of employment, and you're ahead of yourself. I've not reached there yet. <laughs> Title of employment would be whatever you call yourself. So realtor, realtor associate, whichever you use, um, you can put into here, okay? Now, direct work phone number, public contact number, cell phone number, this really works by coming in and typing it in. I like to show you so you see that it's easy to do. Now, does anybody have a pager? No pagers? Anybody know what a pager is? Our cell phones took over that. Good, you don't need to know. <laughs> For those of us that know, <clears throat> that's because we're only 30, right? <laughs> I like to add a style. That's a nice way to say it. <laughs> 
Now, if you have a fax number, maybe your office still uses this. I don't laugh at that because what happens if your customer tells you, oh no, send me a fax. If you have a fax number, you can add the number here just as I did, right? For your cell phone or your public contact. Is it the word, is it word for Mac, a pager? No, that's really good, wait, that's pages. It's a beeper, it was a sky pager. Um, I wanna say is an 80s thing, early 90s. It was a way to communicate before cell phones were big. Uh, doctors had them first, they were probably the size of our cell phones, the first ones. Um, so it's just cute that they still have it, okay? Uh, if you have a direct or toll-free number, you can go ahead and do it. I Google it. They were cool. At the end, they sort of came in all kinds of colors, and we had text encoding for what you wanted to say. So uh, it was fun. Now your office information here is grayed out. Anything that's grayed out must be changed either by contacting membership or asking your office to change your locations. All right? You can do it in conjunction with both. Okay? You can email. Now a tagline, if your office, if your brokerage, if you have a tagline, this is a great way or location for you to put it to be able to use in the additional tabs, right? And remember that we will be creating a mini site here. So you could then integrate that into the header or footer. I use Live the Dream. That's a personal one for me, but I like to put it out there. Maybe you have service with a smile, excellent engagement and customer service. You know, maybe your brokerage has one. You can always come back in if you don't know it today and just click on the very top, like I showed you, and come back into the settings area and start to cover here under my information. Okay. Because sometimes you're wondering, should I put something or not? Maybe you're in the midst of creating a website or adding additional info. You can always come in and update this. Next is additional information. And what I've done is put in my link tree and to contact me via WhatsApp. What this does is that then later on, it's optional for people to see this info. Now for a website, um, I like to show you how I do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and open up an additional tab and paste it. Uh, this is our website as trainers. I hope that you get to meet, and some of you said you were new, Robert, myself, and Christy. Together, we have over 40 years of experience in the industry, right? Um, Robert and myself, uh, Robert's been around almost 15 years at the association. I have been around eight. Christy has been around for two, almost three already. And then um, we have information or had worked at some point somewhere that we have knowledge to share. This is your tech trainers. We offer the tech training that's for free that has to do with products and services, including Matrix. You could see our classes here, our tips and more. Now, what I was trying to show you is that this is my, what I call my website. So I open it up and I copy it, come back into matrix and I'm gonna delete from here. And I always suggest to do that because then when you paste it in, it'll have the coding in the front. And that way, if you're working on a website, you can add it in. If you don't have one now, you leave it blank. And then when you do, you can come back in and add it, okay? Now, if you have a suffix, maybe you're the third, um, his Royal Highness, her Royal Highness, cause I'm sure that we have, many kings, queens, and princesses here with us, you can add your information there in the suffix. And then of course, the ever important lower left button to do what? Save, because you've worked so hard, put in your information that you've got to make sure that you do what? Save. Once you save, on the very top, you'll be notified that your changes have been saved. And if you notice, we have quite a few tabs to go over. So we're going to go from information directly to header and footer. If you click on header and footer, I already have my selection here, but I'm gonna walk you through the process for you to select. And you can select from preset ones that are available in the system, or you could choose to upload a custom banner. Why I show you this is because along the way, maybe at your office, they have a banner. Maybe you're gonna create one. Maybe you're crafty with Ripple and Canva. And here it has the banner size, right? and information on it. So you could browse and upload your own if you were interested. Now, if you want to select one, I always tell everybody to select one that's available here so that when you do have your reports, your displays and your items, you will have this ability to create header and footer and this will reflect on your reports and such. 
you can come and select a banner item and that will bring you to the banner selection page. And on the left-hand side of each type, there's a little radio button that you click to select it. But we have a basic blue, a wave blue, angle orange. There's some beach chairs for sale, for lease, for rent, a comfy sofa, some grass on a boardwalk, a home, commercial if you do commercial, right? Uh, this board with homes, a patio setting, a golf course, a large home, right? So you can come and see if there's one that interests you. And let's say I wanna do the marina because it's summer. I click here on the left and once I do that, I can preview. Now I can come back and change my selections, et cetera. I'm gonna click on preview and this would be mine. To be able to add the photo like you see here, you would come to the area of photo and select and then upload your photo. Now for branding purposes, note here that I have five lines of information. Those are selected in the branding area here. And this information comes directly from the information tab. So what you typed in and put into there, you could simply come and click and select. Now, as far as the order or what you would like to put, we always suggest that you put your brokerage, right? We suggest you put the forms of contact and your title. So here I have a title. I select my cell phone and my email address. Now, some of you may wonder what I do in that order. Well, this is my name, my title, my preferred method of communication, right? My email and then my brokerage. You can select them just by clicking down and selecting and put them in the order that you would like. And this is what I selected. You can choose from any of the drop down items. I just want to take a minute and come back and remind you that if you come to MiamiRealtors.com, to get to the gateway, you click into the Miami Gateway here. It'll ask you for your license and password. That'll bring you to the gateway dashboard. And this is the matrix icon. Right now I am within matrix, right? And I came into the settings area and then I selected my information. Next up, you see that after I put in my branding, I have colors here and I've left the theme colors. So everything in the report will go appropriate to what I've selected up top. Next. I have information here on footer where I can decide if I do not want a footer or if I want to have the ability to create and add one. I put yes, I want to print footer and then I have four items of branding which I can select and come across like this. This would be on the bottom of a page if you selected it. And I came and selected my name, my cell phone, my email address, and that I'm a Miami trainer. And then of course I left the default colors. I can always reset, but for now I made changes. So I wanna do what? Save. And that's our area for header and footer. And remember that these are for um, your print screens and displays. Everybody okay for us to continue? Excellent. We're going to come next to CMA cover sheet. You can create a CMA through Matrix. We talk about it in Matrix 301 and in a class called CMA Workshop. You'll hear more and more about those. Uh, we did have a CMA month last month where we had tips, et cetera, and they're still available at MiamiRealtors.com forward slash CMA. But the CMA is an art. So we continuously update and give more classes. Your Miami trainers, Robert, will be providing a workshop, um, not a workshop. It will be a certification called PSA, Pricing Strategy Advisor. I believe he's scheduled to do it in October. The settings are up here in settings. And then you would click my information. And right now I'm in CMA cover sheet. 
Here in the CMA cover sheet, you have another opportunity to click and add your photo for branding purposes. So your CMA's cover page would have your photo, right? You have the ability here to select or override the name. Notice that I've taken a time and I've put in some of the certifications and designations I've earned. Your company name will show your uh, brokerage address. I added it in the suite, right? By typing it in, you can add your phone number, a nickname, your full name again, direct phone number, and your website. So you can take a minute and fill this out as you would like, right? And what this does is that now you're setting up for success. So when you do create a CMA, this is already there. PSA is Pricing Strategy Advisor, and it is a certification that helps you understand in depth uh, what a CMA is and then understand a little bit what appraisers do. Okay, now we come in here and we do what? Click save. You're welcome. Next over is email signature. And this one I always like to take some time on. You create this signature once, you can come back and edit it every time that you need. But the nice thing about this is that then every time that you send an email, and you will probably be sending emails from the system when you find a search, when you send someone information. So you may want to take a minute here. And if you've put in the photos before and you added your photo to the roster, as I showed you, you will be able to add those photos that you've already put into the system into your signature. And we highly recommend it. Now, this works just like Word. And you would come in and you would start to type. Your name, you can select it. So if you want to do like me and do it in another color, you can make it bold, you can make it bigger. Um, you can select the color that you're using, um, et cetera. Right? You would see here, you would put your title, your cell phone, your email address, your brokerage, the brokerage office information, if you would like. Now I'm giving you an idea. You don't have to put contact info if you do not want, but you could come into here, right? And take a minute and come in. And if you've added your photo in the other areas, take care. Uh, you can come in and select image and you can choose which one you would like to add, right? And click okay and it will appear. The next thing you can do is that you can come and select your email address, right? And if you want to hyperlink it, I'm going to, of course, break my link here. I have it selected. I'm going to come and select a little link on the top. And if I want it to display, right, I'm going to select the link type as email. And what that does is when the person clicks on it, when they see it in your signature, it will prompt their email to open and they can email you back. Always making sure that they can contact you with ease. So you would put it in. You could put a message in a subject body if you like, and you click OK. So here you have your email with dynamic information. How many of you have social media? Already starting your pages, considering doing it? Maybe you want to put a link to your website? Everything I'm going to show you here, everything I've shown you in this signature, you can do in most signature fields. So Hotmail, Outlook, Gmail, Google will allow you to do everything I've done here. But I wanna show you how to hyperlink. I always like to do it with Instagram because I have the most fun with my Instagram account. So I'm gonna open up a tab on the top and open my Instagram real quick. Now this is my business one, right? Um, I saw a couple of realtors the other day at an event um, and I put in, Always have fun with your Instagram, show your personality. But this is what I want to copy. The link on the very top, I want to right click and copy it. And I like to show you that, not just Alt C, Alt V. I like to show you because maybe it's easier to understand. Now, when I copy here and I come back into Matrix, I can take this word Instagram and actually highlight it. Click on the link on the bar. And then this is a URL. I don't have to change the type. And I paste it in. Once I do that, I click what? Okay. 
And now when I send this out, that will be a link to my Instagram. I have made a link for my email. So what I'm doing is making sure that I provide information and ways for them to continuously be able to come back to me. For the photo, I'll show you one more time because to me, it's very important that you put the photo in. To have put the photo in here, you needed to have put the photo, the photo in header and footer and CMA cover sheet. They have to already be in the system. Once you do that, you click here and this is the photo icon. You see it? You click in, select the image, select the photo that you wanna use, click okay. Now, no one's asked me, and maybe I don't have it. Yes, I do. Let me make this a little bigger. You guys see the registered trademark for the R? I'm gonna remove it. If you use the word realtor or realtor associate, you could actually come into here. So this is Miami Association of Realtors. And you place a cursor where you would like the symbol to appear. And you come up to the symbol area. You see the omega sign, the special character sign. You click into there and it's sort of in the middle. But I like to show you that because there's an Aigne, you know, maybe your name is in French or you have another term or you're looking for something. These are special characters. Here's a trademark one. I click into it. Now it's available. Now I've completed my signature. Go ahead and reduce the size a little. Um, and now all I have to do is do what? Save. Everything I've shown you here, you can also do in your signatures wherever you have your email. And you should. You should make your email signatures dynamic. Oh, I don't know if it's so important, but when something's trademarked, you like to mark it. There are trademark rules. And if you're a realtor, a realtor associate, that's a trademark name. I just like to show you that you have the ability to do it. Okay. You can click in here and to save, and you've saved your signature. The next one is agent web page, agent web page. We're going to click into here. And to make this work, the first thing you have to do is select to enable it. So you have to click to enable it. If you're not interested in creating a web page because you already have a website or you're working on one, that's fine. But I always like to show you. So this is something that you have in the back if you'd like. And remember, the more site and aggregator sites that you have available, the better your search engine optimization, the easier it is for customers to find you. Now, I have a, a, an idea here where you would put your name, how you would like it to appear. And the web page URL that you're creating is what it says here, .com. You can only use letters and numbers, and it is a site. So no spaces. Now, for the web page title and the home page content, I always like for you to use the same thing, if not exactly the same, very similar to whatever else it is that you're doing with your branding in the World Wide Web and on social media. Remember that we offer social media classes. It's a five-part course really walking you through step-by-step -step to creating your social media. If you notice, I put Connie at the real estate instructor. I have here Miami trainer, and I like to show you my Facebook, which is also Connie Nieto, real estate instructor. Okay. What I'm trying to make sure there is that my branding is what? As consistent as it possibly can be, including in my website and title and content. Then you have a content area here where you can have an explanation to what you do, who you are, and I've sort of created this to give you an idea. <laughs> I can share it with you if you like. Um, and what I've done is put real estate instructor, where you could put realtor, providing excellent service, and then your coverage area. Of course, I cover and teach Miami Dade, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, and St. Lucie, right? For those that are members here, but you could put Miami Dade and Broward. Maybe you just do Broward. Maybe you just do Palm Beach, right? working to find your future home or investment in South Florida, and then explain why you like it here, right? And how you will allow and help them. Yes, if you have a bio already created, and if you're doing social media or you have a website already, go and copy and paste that and stick it in. Remember that that would make it identical to what you're using 
again, helping you with search engine optimization. What you write up here, you will most probably be using in other sites as well. Okay. Now I also put in here dedicated to provide an excellent customer service with over eight years of experience and over four decades living in the area, right? All of this here that I put, you can use. Would you like me to send you a copy in the chat? There is no place to put here that I, well, maybe let's see. No, no place to put a symbol there, but you can write it into this area here. Oops, I don't think I put it. Oh, I erased everything. Let me cancel. Let me hope that it didn't change it for me. Oh, it's there. Um, I was going to copy this and send it to you guys if you wanted it. Tracy, you want it? There you go. If you ever need it, I, um, I always like to share with all of you. Uh, we do have a trainer email. Right, and it's trainers at .com. You can always write to me directly if you need to. Not everybody likes to write to there. And uh, this is my cell phone number. I try to um, answer text messages and WhatsApp. Um, I won't promise that I'll answer the phone because when I leave here, I've talked so much that I just really don't want to. And um, the rest of the day I teach, but I cannot stay away from the text or WhatsApp. So if there's some way that I could help you, feel free to email. The trainers one is free to have access to all of us. But if it's something I said in a class, you can always write to me and that's my phone number. The idea here is to help you along. Your success is our success. I take uh, as my success. Next, I also like to show you, you see, I speak another language. Anyone speak another language? French, Creole, Portuguese, Espanol. Italiano. Anybody speak another language? I took here, and this is something that you should do in all of your marketing efforts. If you're not going to do an English and a Spanish or a French and a Creole, take a minute and write a line in the language that you speak additionally. And if you don't, that's fine. Most people read and write in English. But if you do, this is a way to connect. So take a minute and take advantage. Oh, parlez-vous français. I speak very little. I tried to earn, learn Creole here. We have some um, office, uh, my colleagues that speak Creole. So they'll come by once in a while and they teach me bonsoir, bonjour, and they'll come in and I love it. So, but I cannot teach a class in it. But yes, the more you speak, the more you share the best. So add it in. It's part of who you are. I have an iframe here. How many of you are considering creating videos? Well, I wanna show you. Um, I'm gonna take you to uh, the YouTube channel that we have available to you. It's youtube.com forward slash Miami Trainers. I'll share, copy here and paste it in. Okay. Español y portugués. Yo hablo portañol. That's because I can speak, but I not a lot. Um, we'll look here to one. And I'm going to go ahead and click share and copy. All right. And if this was my video and I wanted to add it in, even though it's not mine, I'm going to come back into here and I would click here where I want it to show. Come back to the top. Now let me do this here so you can see. And you see this one that looks like a video, like a play button. I would click into that and I would paste the code for the video here. Okay. And then I would just click OK. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have my own down here, but I wanted you to see it. So it would be just copying from YouTube because you can do it with YouTube so that you can embed. Any of you use Gmail? As a Gmail user, you already have a YouTube account. You just need to go and create it. Sure. I'm gonna cancel here so I can show it to you. I would put my cursor where I would want the video to show. I would click the video button 
You see the one that looks like play right here. Click. And I would not put the embed code here. I will put the URL here because that's easier for me to copy. Right. And then I would just click OK. Let me go ahead and cancel. Right. I have my iframe already here. And then I would come here to the very bottom. And if you have a portal area or not, um, let me see if I could reduce this a second so I can show you the settings here. Well, if it'll allow you, you could then select here. Oh, it's giving me a hard time. This area here is being worked on, but I can select something and add and remove it. So if I wanted to add a video, the photo, I could do so, and then I could see the selected selection here. I'm not sure why it's not letting me show you, but this is to show you what would come up on the page. Next, we have a map area. This here in the map area, um, if you do not want to specify, so you want the person to visit your page and be able to look all over the map, you would put do not specify and it'll open up to our area of coverage map. If you want to restrict it, so you only want them to search in a certain area, you could restrict it. Um, and if you choose to specify an area, you could specify the initial map view. So you would select, if you select restrict or specify, it allows you to modify the view. And if you do, you can click into here. It'll open up the map area. And let me make sure that you're seeing that you are. And then here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this to show you. Maybe um, this is what really comes up, the whole area of coverage and the person can click and look in the area of interest. But if you wanted to specify or put an area in, you could put it into here. You can either do a rectangle or a polygon or save this because this is how you want it to show. If you work Miami Dade, you might want to shift it up and down. You can pan with your mouth up, right? You can zoom in and out. You can add an area of coverage here if you want to. So if you were restricting it, you might want to draw. And then what you do is click save. Next, you have the option to include a sign up form. Now, this would mean that anybody that would come into the site you would ask them to sign up so you could put a message in. Now, I always try to talk to you and remind you as consumers, have you ever visited a website because you wanted something, a pair of shoes, I don't know, fishing gear, camping gear, et cetera, and you click into the site and instead of allowing you to browse, what they do is ask you for your information. Anybody of you done that? What happens when they start to ask you for info before they let you search? I, I like that you said that, Ana Maria, because as a consumer, if they're not allowing me to look and immediately they want my information, yep. So this is what I want you to consider. They've made it to your site. Do you need them to sign up here or do you want them to look? And when they're ready to save, then you capture the info. Because this would mean they come into the site and they have to put their info in. But if I deselect this, it means that they come in, they can do whatever they need to do. And then once they click save, they could add their info. So how would you like it? And I like to share that with you. When you have a Gmail address, you can use that uh, to start your YouTube account. Anybody can have a YouTube channel, but if you have a Gmail login, you can have a login for YouTube when you go to sign up. Now, additional domains. Now the website created here is free and it's this that's up here, right? But you could buy a domain, which is a name for a site and redirect it here. So you could go buy Connie Nieto real estate instructor.com and I could redirect it here, okay? Um, and you would add it in. And then of course you would contact the provider of the domain um, and let them, Could you would copy this info here and put it in, okay? Now I'm gonna click save because I want you to see what my site looks like. I click save and when you click save too, you're gonna to see view site and it's quick. So if you click that, it lets you preview your site. So remember my header and footer <coughs> selection, the header. It has information here on, on about me for to be able to search. It has an about me section with what I wrote in. Here's the video that shows, right? 
Okay, so it's a simple site with your info and a property search. Okay, easy to use. All right, coming back to Matrix, that was our agent web page. Next, once we've saved, is One Home. One Home is the way now the portal that of information that the customer gets. So when you send a search, they can participate in One Home and you want them to interact in that portal. The first thing you have here is to put your photo. Customize it and please put in your photo. Please put in your photo. Why? Because when they receive the email and they click on the link, they'll get your photo and a welcome. Super important for branding. Put in your photo. Next, you have the ability, like on the information sheet, to have your information available, right? And you can have a team info if you like or not. And this is my team name. You don't have a team, that's fine. It'll be blank, but I wanted you to see it. Different from the other page, here you can add some social media. So you can add your Twitter link, Facebook link, and Instagram link. I'm going to show you with Instagram, but what I'm going to do works for all of them. I'll show you with Facebook too and Twitter. Let's do it. We have some time. I'm going to come into here, Twitter. Come into my Twitter page. One home. One home was the tab. This is my Twitter. Now I want you to note that when you log into Twitter, you come into the home, okay? What you wanna do is come to your profile. This is your link, you copy here, come back into matrix, and I'm gonna erase so that you can see it, and I'm gonna paste it in. I'm gonna make this a little bigger, there we go. Facebook. You would log into your business page for Facebook all the way in. So remember, normally when you come, you come to the home, you see stories and info, right? You can come into here to pages, select your business page. And if you don't have one yet, that's fine. You can always come back and fill this out. Copy it in. Paste. And Instagram the same. Open up your Instagram, make sure you're on your profile page. So this is home, right? And then you would click over here, profile. This is your profile page. How many of you are working on your social media? Remember what I told you about our social media marketing class. And this is something that you would come back and you would just update. Now your information for your office appears. You can add your URL like I had shown you before. You can have a profile area where you put in a salutation, you know, a greeting. So title, welcome to your future home or investment. Notice that I even put one in Spanish. I put in a little message. I added a little URL here for my video because I would like to see. Right, so if you had any of this, you could put your video link, right? And it can be YouTube or Vimeo. But notice on the one before, it was only YouTube. I like to share that. And then you simply click Save. Now we've done all of the settings, but we still have one more area to go. And the idea of this class is before you start sending, you should be able to have all this ready to do what? Make sure that you're sending with all of your branding and info. We're gonna come now back to the hello and we're gonna click on settings again and we're gonna do portal notifications. How many of you are uh, joining us for the entire series this month? I believe next Tuesday I'm doing 201 and we will start from there on the searches. The MLS series, all of the classes for the MLS. Alrighty, so be sure to go ahead and sign in. I'll be looking forward to seeing you uh, via Zoom, right? Now, here we are in portal notifications. Why is this a big deal? I send a search to a customer. They have a portal page. I want to know what they're doing in the page, right? Don't you want to know? This is the way to know. So here you can choose to 
select an email or text message or a daily summary, if they visit the portal, if they save a favorite, if they remove a favorite, if they discard a listing, undiscard a listing, add notes, and the first time portal visit. These are the ones that I find most vital to me. If they're discarding or whatever, I don't want to know. But if they visit it, I want to know. If they save a favorite, I want to know. These are my preferences. You select what you like. Add notes. Yes, because what if they're trying to communicate with me? Like, I don't like this one. This one I really like. I came into settings. Portal notifications. Okay. And then the first time they do it, I want to know immediately. Immediately. Why? If they're clicking on my link, what a great opportunity to pick up the phone and go, hey, did you see the listings I sent you? Right? So you get them while they're hot, while it's working. Now, if you want to get the text messages, you have to click here. You would click. You need to add your phone number. No spaces, no anything, only the 10 digits. Then your service provider. And you ask them to send you a verification code. Yes, all the classes are on YouTube. We would just be going. Um, all righty. All of them are on. But when you're here, you can ask questions. You can ask me to repeat, you know. Yes, they're all what's something that we take pride in. Of course, we give you all the live classes. We offer hybrid too for you guys to come in person, but there's nothing like sometimes being able to interact. And I, you know, when you have a question, this is a place to get us. Um, but of course, you can watch the video. That's the whole purpose of them is to at any time, at any place, wherever you need to be for you to get what you need. So this is the code I received. Remember, you have to get yours and then you just save it. Okay. It takes a little time. If you're inside of a space that doesn't have good coverage, it takes time. T-Mobile takes a little bit of time, but this is important to me and it should be important to you because you want to make sure to do what? Get what you need. And then we're going to do what? Save. And we're done with the setup. So how about we do a little quick search? Want to? Okay, now that you set up or you know where to go to do your setup, you're really ready to send. Once you've done your setup, you're ready to send listings. And I want you to come into here and click on search. And we're going to do an RE1, RE2. And we're going to do it very simple. RE1, RE2, right? And notice that active coming soon and active with contractor selected. You can deselect. You can select statuses. The search is divided into three segments. Information, the middle is all location, 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 and then there are details. I want an active property and I want it to be from 400,000 or less. If I wanted 400,000 or more, I would put 400 and plus. If I wanted from 400,000 to 600,000, I would put a minus sign and do a range. Oops, there we go. I can put the beds and baths into here. I can select the property type. So let's say I want single and single. Okay. And let's say I want Miami Dade and Broward location. But I can actually come in and put a zip code with commas in between. I can put it in a geographic area. I can come and select a city. Just for now, I'm going to put Miami Dade and Broward. Let's say that I wanted to have four bedrooms and two baths. If I put four as the exact number, I'm only going to find properties with four. If I put four or less, means four or less rooms. If I put four or plus, it means four or more. And if I put four to six, is a range. Let's leave it plus. And let's put here two plus for full baths. I have 235. 
That's a lot of listings. I can even come and put square foot living area, 1,800 plus. Okay, 180 matches. And I wanna scroll down. I can add pool and more. When you come back to 201, we will go into this further. But today I wanna set you up for success. So guess what I want you to do down here? How many of you have this blank? the additional fields area. So what we're gonna do here is, we're gonna take this opportunity and click add and remove. And we're going to come from available fields and add to selected fields. Excellent, if you have it, great. And here are some of my suggestions. Okay to advertise. So you type okay in the search, you select it and you click add. I already have it so I get the yellow banner. Next, you don't need subdivision info so much, but you do need the terms, right? So you type terms, select it and click add. If you're interested, take a picture of this and let me know and then I'll scroll down so you can take a picture of the rest. Terms considered is the form of payment. Next, I'm gonna type in HOPA. That's Housing Older Person Act. We select it and add it. After that, you come back and you type short sale. Okay. Select and add. Sometimes we wanna filter and not have short sale information. After that, we have REO. Real estate owned. It's already been foreclosed. It is a bank owned property. After that, I always like to put in remarks because sometimes you want to search them. And if you type the word remarks, you can select the top one. And let's say that you just want to remarks, right? Click shift, select. It selects all of them and you add them all at once. When I finish this list, Karen. Next, I'm gonna type pets. Select and go ahead and add it. And then the other ones, I don't know that you need restriction or parking restriction, but association is a big deal. And notice that I have all three. You can actually get those by coming in and typing ASSOC, select, do as I showed you, shift, select all and add them. You may be looking for the association fee. You may not want an association. You might want a specific type of association. Do you see why it's important? Let me go all the way down. And then showing instructions if you like. But one of the things that I like to show you is design description, because that'll tell you if it's one floor, two floor, et cetera. So these are my recommended ones. These are the ones that I'm always seeing that people ask about. And why do you want to add them? Once they're in your selected field item, you can also organize them and move them up and down. But once you have them here and you click the back button, let's say that you wanted them with no association fee. So no association, you could just click on none and they're already a part of that property type search. And now I have 97 items and I can click on results. Now time is up. But I do want to take a minute and say, um, you can click into the MLS number. In the second portion, we will go over making this all yours, uh, ma making sure that you can personalize it so it has the info you need. And we will go over step-by-step -step on clicking in a listing, seeing what's there, et cetera. I hope you've enjoyed the class. I know I did immensely. I tried to go as slow as possible to make sure that you set up for success. It's always a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for being Miami members. I will be here next week and we appreciate um, you being with us. Did all of you get the handouts? Yes, quick question. When is the next class, the 201? The two, oh, hi, how are you? The 201 class, did everybody get it? Do you want me to click it in and send the forms again? Please. Give me one second, I'm sending the forms now. I have the one for MLS series. And then I also sent the one just for the 101. We don't always have these uh, 
available. But for this, we do, and we do have the series ones. And I always like to share them so you know. Um, our second class, I like to show you. You come in, you click on calendar, and you can actually type matrix here on the very top. Find event. And today is the 14th. So I'm going to be teaching it in Spanish at 11. But next Tuesday, I have it again in English. You see it here? Okay. I click mm. into it. And I'm going to copy the link and paste it in and send it to you guys via the chat. So if you have not registered and you think you can, this is it. You would click to register, log in, and get yourself into the class. Have a great day.